Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. Today I will prove the so-called law of tangents of triangle. Let us denote length of three sides BC, C, A, A, B as A, B and C respectively. And let us denote the angles opposite to those respective sides alpha, beta and gamma respectively. Then we want to prove that a minus b divided by a plus b is equal to tangent alpha minus beta over 2 divided by tangent alpha plus beta over 2. Alright, let's prove this. In order to prove the law of tangents, we start from another law that is more familiar to us. The law of sines, which is that a over sine alpha equals b over sine beta equals c over sine gamma equals d where D is the diameter of the circumcircle of triangle ABC. From here, we know that A equals D sine alpha and B equals D sine beta. So A minus B over A plus B is given as D sine alpha minus D sine beta divided by D sine alpha plus D sine beta which gives sine alpha minus sine beta divided by sine alpha plus sine beta. Now, some of you might feel uncomfortable using the already existing theorem such as the law of sines because the law of sines is something that also needs to be proved in the first place. Well, I'm sorry to those people, but proving the law of sines is rather a boring process which is not the main focus of this video. And in order to prove it from purely geometric perspective, you have to do some case division depending on the types of triangles. So I'm just gonna assume that you have learned or will learn how to prove the law of sines in your pre-college math courses and simply just gonna use this law. So we have obtained this and from here, we have to use other useful trigonometric formulas known as sum to product formulas. Now these formulas are derived directly from angle addition formulas, which can be derived without applying the laws of sines, cosines or tangents for triangles. So applying these, we have a minus b over a plus b equals the numerator becomes 2 cosine alpha plus beta over 2 times sine alpha minus beta over 2 and the denominator becomes 2 sine alpha plus beta over 2 times cosine alpha minus beta over 2. Here, sine alpha minus beta over 2 divided by cosine alpha minus beta over 2 gives tangent alpha minus beta over 2, and cosine alpha plus beta over 2 divided by sine alpha plus beta over 2 gives the reciprocal of tangent alpha plus beta over 2. And this concludes the proof. And now let us apply the theorem to this exercise. Here for triangle ABC, it is given that length A equals 2 and length B equals square root of 3 plus 1 and angle gamma equals 60 degrees. Let us try to find the magnitude of other two angles, alpha and beta. So we are going to use the law of tangents which we have just proved. Here the values of a and b are given, and alpha plus beta is also given, since alpha plus beta equals 180 degrees minus gamma, which is 180 degrees minus 60 degrees, which is 120 degrees. So let us rearrange this as tangent alpha minus beta over 2 equals a minus b over a plus b times tangent alpha plus beta over 2. And substituting with values, we have first 2 minus then square root of 3 minus 1 divided by 2 plus square root of 3 plus 1 times tangent 120 degrees divided by 2, so 60 degrees. So we have 1 minus square root of 3 over 3 plus square root of 3 times tangent 60 degree is equal to square root of 3. And here we can write the numerator as negative 3 minus square root of 3, so this divided by 3 plus square root of 3. 
So if we rationalize the denominator by multiplying 3 minus square root of 3, we have 3 minus square root of 3 squared here, which gives negative 12 minus 6 square root of 3 divided by 9 minus 3, so 6, which we can write negative 2 minus square root of 3. Here we are given the hint that tangent 15 degrees is equal to 2 minus square root of 3, and considering that alpha minus beta over 2 can have negative values, we can conclude that this equals tangent negative 15 degrees, or more precisely, this negative 15 degrees equals alpha minus beta over 2, which means that alpha minus beta equals negative 30 degrees. So we have alpha plus beta equals 120 degrees, and alpha minus beta equals negative 30 degrees, which we can easily solve simultaneously to obtain alpha equals 45 degrees and beta equals 75 degrees. Now some of you might want to ask, is it possible to solve this problem without using the law of tangents, but instead using trigonometric laws that are more familiar to us? Well, it is. First, we use the law of cosines to find the remaining length c, which gives c squared equals 2 squared plus square root of 3 plus 1 squared minus 2 times 2 times square root of 3 plus 1 times cosine 60 degrees. And if we calculate this, we obtain 6. So we have c equals square root of 6. And then we apply the law of sines, so we have 2 over sine alpha equals square root of 3 plus 1 over sine beta equals square root of 6 over sine 60 degrees. And this part is actually equal to 2 square root of 2. So from here, we can obtain sine alpha equals 2 divided by 2 square root of 2, which is 1 over square root of 2. So alpha equals 45 degrees and sine beta equals square root of 3 plus 1 divided by 2 square root of 2, which gives square root of 6 plus square root of 2 over 4. Now this is a rather unusual trigonometric values, but it's actually the value of sine 75 degrees, which you can easily check with angle addition formulas. Of course, you can also obtain beta by subtracting all the other angles from 180 degrees. And that's all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in another video.